everybody, welcome back to the Make Code Arcade Advanced Live Stream. Why aren't we at Advanced Live River? Tell me that, hmm? It's almost 300. Anyway, my name is Vivian. I'm at Live Triple on the Make Code forums. Um, I'm Richard, and I think we should aim even higher. I want to be the Advanced Live, like, ocean. I should on the Make Code forum. Uh, I'm Shannon. I should count on the Make Code forum. I think we are at River. I think we can start. We can do the transition. Okay. Make code advanced live river. <laughs> we'll be an ocean one day. Yeah, one day. Maybe maybe when we hit five hundred. But today is not that that day, and I have a plan. <laughs> Wait, Richard. Okay, so didn't you make a game once when like the gravity would change? Yeah. Um. What was the point of that game? Not like not like what was the point of that game, but like what was what was the what was the point of I can't say it in any other way, but you get that energy. I'm pretty sure it was called Trapped in Pumpkin Space. Uh-huh. And as you walked around, it was like a platformer, and you would occasionally hit a um, tile that would change the gravity in that direction. And we just oh. made a big maze. Okay. So I kind of had an idea that that's that was a combination of that game, but also 2048. So my thought is you can change the direction of gravity and you'll have a bunch of blocks that can like merge together if they're the same. And your goal is trying to get to like a certain location that might also be falling with the blocks or might be stationary. And you can platform on the falling blocks or you want to clear the way. I'm not great at making puzzles and I didn't really think about how I'm going to make this. So that's my plan. And we've talked about before. Yes, I pieced it together. <laughs> What's happening? Joey posted in the chat, um, and it's just, it was six Vs, and I was like, is this summoning Vivian? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but it's the name of a game. I, I um... forgot about the game temporarily. In the presence of Vivian. Yeah. It's a very good gravity switching game. Yeah. Well, this one... No question, does Arcade have a JSON parser? No, I don't think so. Hmm. You, you we probably do that. I think it's like one of those things we could suggest to Abhijit and he would do it. Mm -hmm. To me, how? Hmm? Oh, no, I think Abhijit would do it. Oh, okay. Just himself? This is his coding his coding <laughs> task? Because it's like, it's like a javascript -y thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Richard, is this your convention? Is this... Is zero right? No. Yeah. Zero. zero up. Fine. Zero up. One right. Two. Nope, that's not two. Two down. This is advanced stream. Three left. I'll fix yeah, we got another question. Does TypeScript have a hash table like Python? All objects are hash tables. Yes. Wait, I had a controversial programming topic for today, but I forgot what it was. I literally was thinking of this yesterday. Oh, I, I remember what it was. Okay, how do you... Sorry. I was going to say, you remember that time you gave me so much flack for forgetting my controversial programming topics? Yeah, and that, that's why I'm harsh on myself, too. You know, these things are important. But anyway, um, um, do you want to hear my controversial programming to topic? Sure. Okay. Um, um, how do you guys pronounce um, SQL? Equal. Sequel. Okay, my controversial programming opinion is that it should be pronounced squirrel. <laughs> squirrel is better. I definitely agree. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I do. I think I also agree with you. Squirrel is better. Yep. Yep. Especially because you have like my sequel is now my squirrel. That's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Squirrel light. Squirrel light. I would like to see if anybody, you know, maybe this isn't a controversial programming topic. Maybe this is very popular. Everybody <laughs> agrees. Anyway, I'm going to make a character and it's going to be inside the tile map. Maybe we'll make it less than 16 by 16 for like, for reasons. Hey, here's a controversial programming thing. Sure. Um, that we've talked about before, but I don't know if we've done it on stream. Um, how do you pronounce C-H-A-R? 
Char. Char. Also Char. Char. <laughs> I Sounds like you're trying to be Charmander. Yeah, what's wrong with that? I think we agreed that he was a, Char is kind of a I mean Charmander's kind of a boring Pokemon. It's the best if it's it's boring if you think winning's boring, hmm? <laughs> I judge my Pokemon on more than, you know, the services they provide me. It's like a holistic thing. Okay, what what are your like axes? Uh, mostly how round they are. <laughs> <laughs> Jenna, what's your favorite Pokemon? It's Cyndaquil. Yeah, I know, I know. I just needed, I wanted you to say it on stream. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Richard, what's your favorite? Um, My favorite, I think, recently has been Shedinja. It's really cool. Is that the Cicada one? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe in the Sprite is so good. Yay! Yeah, I was, I don't know. I, I, I need some kind of theme for the jelly stuff to be, but, but I don't know what that is yet. Maybe we'll mm. maybe we'll do like a function function update gravity on the sprite. If you ask me to draw a Pokemon though, I will always draw a Squirtle with Squirtle Squad glasses. It's on. It's a son. Oh, oh. that's on. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for being so late. Wait, let me see. Okay, nice thing. Nice. Thanks. Uh, always welcome. Yep. The game we're working on is like a gravity shifting game where you platform around and the platforms are moving as they shift. Oh. Yeah, and, and I'm I'm thinking maybe we need some like controls for the shifting and the gravity. Like maybe it's like a a, a B and direction kind of mm -hmm. switching. Yeah, because we need the other yeah. ones for for moving. Yeah. Okay, that's the question. Does does your gravity shift or does just the platform shift? Everybody's gravity shifts too. Are you just going to get squished? You can't get squished. I think you'll block, be blocked from squishing, but you also can't move. It's like a sliding puzzle. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't really think about how the puzzle's going to work. I just, <laughs> this was my concept after watching a lot of Game Jam um, games. <laughs> so, and also I'm not the puzzle maker on, on this stream, you know? I just, I just make the game. I don't make the game. <laughs> Is Richard the puzzle maker? Yeah, Richard, well, the last time I tried to make a puzzle game, Richard made the puzzles for me, so. Mm. What puzzle game was that? It was the color one. <laughs> color one. It's like you go through the color doors and then like some things. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a while ago. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, shoot, what was that game called? Color Witch. Aqu what? Aqua Kazam. <laughs> Aqua Kazam. <laughs> yep, because it was a water witch. Did that ever come <laughs> into play? No, sir. <laughs> I think it. I think it reads though. Um, Vivian, what's your favorite Pokemon? I like I like Eevee because then it's it's the most bang for your buck Pokemon. You can love <laughs> all the Pokemons if you like Eevee. Well, not all, but you, you know. You can only, but Eevee can only evolve one time. Is the thing. Mm. So you got to choose one when you do evolve Eevee. Mm, yeah, but you know, I don't have to choose it now. You know. <laughs> okay. But no, you do have to choose now. Which one would you choose? I choose Eevee, the one full of potentials. <laughs> No, okay, but you you have to evolve Eevee. Which which evolution? Mm, I, like, I like Flareon. Flareon's a good one. Flareon's good. pretty cool. Which one's which one's your favorite? As a kid, it was definitely Espeon, but I think now I would say Jolteon because Jol he's rad. Oh, Jolteon's pretty cool too. Jen. Oh, I'm looking. I don't, I don't know all of these off the top of my head. Hassan, what's your favorite Pokemon? And favorite evolution? <laughs> Wait, I, oh, now I have to look up the different evolutions. <laughs> I don't know. But I can answer the favorite Pokemon question. But I'm not going to answer with words. Give me one second. Oh, man. I'm, not, I'm so excited. Like you guys didn't spend your entire childhoods playing Pokemon games. <laughs> I spent a lot of my childhood playing guess which Pokemon I'm thinking of and was mad when anybody chose anything that wasn't Gen 1. Mm -mm -mm. And I was like, how do you expect me to learn new Pokemon? This is ridiculous. Little did I Good know. Point. They kept on making them. <laughs> My skills only got worse. Oh. 
Let's go. Mm. Wait, Hassan, what would you bring out? I thought I lost it for a moment. I was very sad. Uh, so my, this is my favorite. Oh, my kid. My kid. It's a little mud kid. <laughs> my. Yeah, no, my uh, my twin actually got this from me. I think he went to like uh, the Pokemon Museum in Japan, and he knew that I really liked Mudkip as like the favorite starter Pokemon for that generation. So he brought me one. Mm. And I also so, have in my car like a little crocheted Mudkip that I keep in my cup holder. Uh, so yeah, Mudkip is my favorite. Um, as far as evolution goes, uh, oh man, wow, there's. There's a number of them. What's what's the electric EV called? So is that, Jolteon. Yeah, so I'll say Jolteon. But I don't I don't think I ever really had like an EV when I was playing Pokemon. I think the, get. Yeah. Because in the in the early games you had to like go and trade for them or you had to find the person who would give you one. And uh, unless you go and talk to all the people in all the buildings, you weren't gonna find them. Mm. <laughs> Oh, man, the infinite patience of children to go and talk to every NPC in order to get that sweet, sweet easy. I uh, found it. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I guess it was in the infinite patience of children, for sure. Oh. Um, yeah. yeah, I think I told you that my, my first Pokemon game was broken, and it didn't save. And so I got I thought that's how Pokemon worked, and you're supposed to marathon it. So I got very used to, like, you know, getting to the first two gyms and then being like, okay. Yeah. So kind of a, a fun fact about old video games is that they didn't have the ability to, they had um, volatile memory. And so what would happen is um, they had to constantly be powered on or they would lose your saves. So you need, they had a battery inside. When that battery goes dead, then it no longer saves. But you can just replace the battery. It's fantastic either. Child, um, I know this. <laughs> I just assume um, that this is they fix that with like the Game Boy Advance and like the newer cartridges, but like for the Super Nintendo, NES, and like the Game Boys, all the cartridges had batteries. Right. I, I don't even know if it was the battery. I think it might have just been because I the very first Pokemon was Pokemon Blue, but like I, I told you guys before that like for me every Pokemon was a square block. Like they were just a shaded in block, and the other Pokemon's were shaded in blocks. There were no animations. The attacks were just one block moving and attacking the other like it was just like that was it maybe you're playing like, on a missing no cartridge that someone maybe <laughs> it, well, i just i like is this not how pokemon is like for you guys like i thought it was still endearing enough even though i didn't get the appeal of the pokemon themselves since they were all the same uh, it wasn't until like i think pokemon yellow that i actually saw what pokemon was supposed to be like all right shannon favorite evolution i i have a guess I want to hear. Um, Is there? Wait, can I? Can I guess? Okay, yeah. Wait, yeah. I want to hear Richard's guess. Too. Wait, well, Richard, you need to guess before Shannon says. What's What's your guess? I guess. I guess is Vaporeon. Oh, is there a rock evolution? No. Oh, then then I have. Yeah, I'm. On, I want to go with water evolution. That's Vaporeon. Yeah, yeah. I'm with Richard. Shannon, what is it? Oh, <laughs> uh, I was gonna say Espeon. Oh. Um. I don't have strong EV feelings, though. I was just mm -hmm. like, this one's shape is pleasing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, Espeon's a cool one. Like I said, Childhood Richard would be totally behind that decision. <laughs> well, do you guys know what Joey's favorite Pokemon is? I feel like we should guess. Joey says Leafeon is his favorite. Ooh. Oh. I feel like I knew he must this. Have told, he must have told us at some point. I know, right? We're just bad friends. Sorry, Joey. Are you disappointed in us? I feel like... All right, all right, we're going to guess. I'm, I'm, I'm not looking at chat. So recent. Aren't there over, like, a thousand Pokemon now or something? Yeah. Yeah, there is. But, like, he's been playing it as long as I have, so I, th I feel like it's going to be Gen 1, 2, 3. All right. Is Diamond and Pearl Gen 2 or Gen 3? It's 4. Okay. And what are we on now, Gen-wise? 8? Dang. I missed half of all the <laughs> <laughs> They just kept putting out new ones. Mm. I might guess Mudkip. It's not a bad one. I think it's some kind of like um, bug kind. 
like mm. weird looking bug one. Give me give me the characteristics that you think and I will give you the bug book one uh, that matches. Oh sorry, um I think it had big eyes, it stood on two legs, it had sharp hands. Scyther. What? Scyther. Yeah, Joey, yeah. is that right? <laughs> I remember Scythe from, I think, the Pokemon anime. I love the voice actor. We just yell, Scythe! Mm -hmm. Just Scythe, as you know, I remember yeah, Scythe so from, from the second gym in Pokemon Gold. It was the <laughs> hardest Pokemon. I mean, Scythe. it was not nearly as bad as the third gym in Pokemon Gold, which everyone just remembers as being the hardest Pokemon gym of all time, because it is. But, um, yeah. That darn Milk Tank. Milk Tank. Right. Scyther has started two Pokemon. No, I shouldn't say started. Scyther was a part of two Pokemon movies. I'm going to say unknown. Unknown? Mm-hmm. I'm confused. I haven't... What's unknown? There, okay, so in Gen 2, there is a Pokemon called unknown that is in the shapes of all of the letters. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know... Th oh, yeah. I, I want these to look jelly like but I don't know I want to make it look like kind of three maybe the red should be like more of an outlining ish situation oh wait which one what's, okay. is give me a rundown on all these Pokemon which one's which all right so Joey's answer was he had a three-way tie which I don't think should be allowed but okay I don't think it's between allowed. Mudkip, which we've we've already discussed. Um, Yamper, which was a Corgi Pokemon added in Generation Eight, it was also electric. Um, and then Gallade, who was um, the like there's like Ralts, um, and originally Ralts would evolve into this Gardevoir, and then originally they, they added another one where it's got like swords for hands. So Vivian, I, I would say you were closest out of the ones he didn't say. Yay! Uh, Mudkip. I said Mudkip. Yeah, Shannon did say was I right. Said, I said of the ones who didn't say mud, Mudkip. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Does Shannon get a star for that? <laughs> yeah, you know what, Shannon, you get a star for that. Woo! Yay, Shannon. I feel like Kastan should also get a star for Mudkip solidarity. Mudkip is so soft. Is that a I think that was a quarter. Who are you stars for? What? Wait, what are the stars used for? You know. I do not want stars. <laughs> what? Hassan, ha ha um, do you not want stars? Yeah. No, what are the they used for? The way that stars work is you save them up, and then at the end, if you get enough, you can get the bicycle that's behind the counter. Which is a hundred thousand stars. Hundred thousand, not too bad. Yeah. Reveal counter. And um, I'm I'm in charge of the stars. Yep, and Joey stars. a little bit, Richard. Jo Joey a little bit. Joey's taking a lot of res star responsibility late lately. Yeah. Well, he made the bot, so yeah, I had to see so. I forgot my towels were by eight. I need to fix it. Vivian's pulling ahead on quarters. Uh, tough. <sighs> All right, guys, we're so close to 1% of a puppy. <laughs> mm, let, let's buy the puppy all at once and not in parts. Don't want a puppy toenail yeah. first. Okay, you're right. I also thought it would be a puppy toenail. Yeah, nice. <laughs> and some, one of the key parts of a puppy. <laughs> Please name the other three key parts of a puppy. Oh, um, the eyes, the ears, okay. and the tail. Ears, yeah. But it also has tail. a nose and like a mouth and a tongue. Mm -hmm. But the no, others are the others are useless. Because like we sometimes the ears are supposed to like stand up and then they don't, and it's really cute. Ooh. Mm hmm. Okay, sorry, I got distracted. Okay, I need to cover all the blocks. 
Um, good thing I brought in the tile maps extension. I don't really know how to. Okay, can I? Do, what does cover do again? Is it secret? So cover all will cover all of the tiles. One thing to note though is that if you move the tiles, the covers will not move with them. Hmm. But if it's transparent, it doesn't cover. No, it'll that'll just. Yeah. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. Okay. Cool. 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 Let's make a not transparent background. What should the background look like? Hmm. Um. Good question. You could just make a purple tile, and then it would cover it. You know. Yeah, I would like this to be aggressively themed, though. You know. Aggressively themed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So please come. It should up be with honeycombs. The... Honey. <gasps> yes, that's so aggressive. <laughs> okay, honeycombs. Honeycombs. Hmm. Yes. Yes. It's hexagons. Very strong shape. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Hexagons are bestagons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, here. Hmm. Hmm. How do you make a hexagon? That's six. Is it symmetrical? It will be symmetrical. Okay, here. An Arduino says Joey should add percentages so that Vivian will own forty percent of the puppy, Richard will own thirty seven percent of the puppy, Shannon will own eleven percent. No, we share the puppy equally. We all think we're all in agreement. Okay, there, but right? what if we all want the puppy's time, you know? How do we decide who's hanging out with the puppy that day? Equal time. You you just you just want this system because you're in the lead. I, I Yes, exactly. <laughs> I want some kind of benefit. for. Oh, God, that's painful to look at. What am I doing wrong? Maybe I should make this orange. Hmm. hmm. What, what, yeah, you know, I need some kind of benefit for for being bad at calling my functions, you know? I'm also bad, though, and I'm against it. You're better than me. How much you contribute. Hey, if only we could make the puppy you. love us more if we contributed more. Yeah, but fortunately, technology's just not there yet. Yeah. Can't control puppy love. Aww. Now it's just a square. Where where did my hexagon go? I think the thing that's tough is that they kind of need to be staggered, you know? Like, uh, it looks a little, little like, since they're all aligned, uh -huh. but you would want to do it kind of like bricks, you know? Like like this? Oh, like like uh, the actual hexagons. Yeah. Hmm. So you could do, like, a, you could do it in rows, and then you could just do a hexagon tile, and then for the other one, just do the hexagon tile and then just rotate it halfway. And then, you know, do lines. That's, well, that's true. But when we do the cover, then we'll have to be, like, clever about covering it correctly. That's true. Mm, okay. Maybe I'll just do the purple. We have other things to do today. Sad. Okay. Well, let's see. We have the gravity. Maybe I should do the combining code now. And also I'd give it a goal. I also want it to be, like, super stuffed with things. Oh, also let's bring in, let's bring in, let's bring in, let's bring in, let's bring in an extension. Okay, which okay. extension? Um, RK. RK. Sprite. Sprite. Data. Data. <laughs> yep, we're bringing in RK. Hmm? I'm that lover's thickest arm language. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. Um, okay, I'm going to teach it to you, Son. You ready? Okay, so whenever we add the sprite data extension, we do RK to the right. Wait, RK. Okay. We do it no to the left, sprite. RK. Why are you saying then, is it must have crazy? Data. Data. You got it. Do you punch it in the right hand or your left hand first? So you do right first, then you do left. Your uh, camera, remember your camera is reversed to how people actually see it. Uh, and then. Yeah. So are you saying are you saying stage right or are you saying my right? You're right. You're right. Okay. Maybe the Shannon, maybe the confusing part is I do it backwards because my camera doesn't get flipped before we stream it. And maybe that's like the like oh who knows part, you know? Is, is your camera already mirrored? What? Is your camera already mirrored or is it not? Oh, because I'm flipped? I'm hosting this stream, so it's just capturing the the camera. Uh -huh. I don't I I don't know. I 
Never mind. <laughs> I just know I go left first. <laughs> there. Okay, now I'm gonna do the combining code. I'm kind of thinking if the blocks combine, they should also get bigger. Then we'd have to make the block image with code. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I like mm -hmm. it. And, but I still wanted to look cool, so we'll figure it out. Okay, so what what kind? Oh, hmm. okay. If this data ID is equal to this one ID, then we will combine. Davik says we should all move together in a coding house and share the puppy with all of us all the time. Hmm. I don't think I don't think I'm a good roommate. I think that would destroy the relationship for all of yeah. us. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Maybe we just need to come up with a good timeshare system. Or like a central location where all of us can walk to the puppy. Mm, we leave it in the park because it is in the uh. center. <laughs> hmm, maybe I won't make a new function for this. Okay, okay, okay. So first thing I want to do is make this one, the ID, the color of orange. So it's going to be four. That's the first thing I'm going to do. And then also let's set another data block data size. It's going to be eight because that's how white it is. Do you think I should explain what I'm doing at this point or is it already too far gone? So what you're doing is when the blocks move around and they hit into each other, you're going to make a new block that is made from four of them. Right. Oh, I was I was thinking like the mass of oh well, maybe it should just be like mass and then we'll like try to do a square root and try to like combine that, you know? Oh, so what will the improved mass do? Maybe, what effect maybe you'll like combine it together, but also it gets bigger, so that's a headache too. I didn't really think of what kind of puzzles we'd be making. I just thought it would look cool. Hmm. What do what do you think? What do you guys think? Yeah, so I'm having a hard time imagining what puzzles we would do with oh, this, right? Okay. Now. Let me let me help. This is this is this is nowhere near the vision of what I wanted to be. Let me let me help. Okay. okay. Let me let me make another one. And so the energy is more like this and also we're going to have another a moving goal that's also jammed in between all the other jellies i see the moving goal is the part that i guess you need to think about the most uh-huh but like how are we going to trap it well you want to untrap it oh yeah 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 but like as us we want to trap it we want to trap it very, very thoroughly encased <laughs> within jellies. But yeah, I don't know. I'm not a puzzle maker. <laughs> okay, that's the yellow one. And then let's do the ID for the yellow as five. And then let's make our goal. What should the goal be? Hmm. Let's see. What do you want to get out? Uh, it should be the royal jelly. The ro okay, it'll be a, a crown inside a jelly. Do you think? Do you think I wanted to make a jelly game because I've been eating jelly snacks? Maybe. You mean your four D gummies? My four D gummy. <laughs> Have you, you guys, guys might be wondering what's the fourth D? It's delicious. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shannon, have you been eating your 4D gummies? No. Are these in the box? Here. Yeah, they're inside the box. I open the box? Yeah, yeah the box has been retaped. If you look at it closely, you'll yeah. see. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't looking this case at all. Sorry. Oh, there's the tape. Ah, well, 
I'll leave it. ID. This will I be ID negative one. Okay. This is this is the vision. I need to cover everything. But but oh, oh, also you I won. Wanna... Sorry. If you won. <laughs> yeah. No. Also, I need to make them not not touch each other or not all collapse down. Still need to code that part. Is that going to be hard? Yes. Let's think about how the different strategies we can use to do this. So one thing would be to not actually use gravity. Mm -hmm. And just to do the movement ourselves. And so what we would probably do is we would loop over, like, imagine that we're changing the gravity to the, to the right. Mm -hmm. We would go on each row, start on the left, go to the right, and then we would, like, or sorry, start on the right and then go to the left and then like choose that one and be like, okay, you're going to be in the first slot on the right. And then we do a movement animation, moving it over, and we immediately set that to be a wall. Mm, I don't want it to be like still on the, I want it to have kind of like a collapsey feel. Do you think that's impossible? Collapsey feel. Like, like it's sand. So... Oh, hey, Moong's in the chat. Hi. Um, so um, the uh, other way that we could do it. Okay, so what do you mean by collapsing feel? Like you want you want the blocks to combine, right? Um, I want it to not be on a grid. I don't want it to snap to the grid. I just want it to be like falling sand in a prism. Falling sand in a prism. Yeah. Okay, that's going to be tough to do inside because we can't really do that with one of our existing. I see. What uh, happens if I just do this? If I just set their velocity to be nothing? Will they not fall properly anymore? They'll fall, but you won't be able to make them so that you can't go through them, you know? Oh. You're right. I forgot about that part. Oh, man. These guys, so slow. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, maybe we go with the 2048 vibe. We don't We don't make their sizes bigger, and we and we, and we just live with that. Okay. Yay, Moaling is rating us. Thanks, Moaling. Oh my god. Um, we are working on a game to um, that's like a gravity um, platformer type thing where we have all these blocks, and when you shift, shift the gravity, they're all going to move, and you're trying to get to the um, the crown that is hidden in the center, the royal jelly. Yeah. Kind of looks like SpongeBob. We're going to be king. Wait, the crown? Oh, it does look like SpongeBob. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I didn't come up with that. I do believe it was uh, Joey in the chat. I feel like it was like a, a jinx situation. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, okay. Can I do the thing I wanted to do in the first before this is make the edge, all the arrows. <laughs> make the edge, all the arrows. Yeah. Like the, the, the edge will just show like the direction the gravity is. Oh yeah. Totally. Let's for, do that. For energy. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, left is red. Obviously, obviously, yeah. we're 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 all synesthesia. We all have synesthesia, and we all see left is red. Is does that also include directions? I have no clue. Hmm. Does anybody have synesthesia? Syn 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 Tough. Let us know in the chat. <laughs> Well, in degrees, I do believe that means that it's that's the rule now. What's the rule? That left is red. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Okay. So I'm thinking about this now, and I think what we could do is something where we do the physics ourselves for the blocks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm I'm just warming up to this. I'm just gonna code up all the all the things, and then and then I'll be ready to do physics. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. In the meantime, I'm gonna do a cover. Can I do a cover still? You probably don't want to do a cover. You probably want to do a replace. Replace, but then I'll have to know what the last sprite is. Well, so what I would do is I would just replace all of the arrows and the black with whatever you're trying to do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. 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 So we'll do tile maps. Replace. Where? 
Oh, it's in um, it's in the time lapse extension. Oh. Replace. Oh, easy, 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 easy. Okay. I have recovered the four D. Hmm? Oh, good. The four D's. Yeah. Wait. We're doing um. Our team is doing a team building activity this week, and we we're building with Legos, and we were also given these Lego gummies. Wait, are you guys eating them? I want to. I want to hear a rev a flavor review on all of them. I haven't eaten them yet. Um, Try one now. Okay, I will. Yeah, I opened mine just now because you guys were talking about them, and they were sitting right here. Okay, I would They're like. Good? to <laughs> Hmm. Wait, Vivian, did you try all of them already? Yep, I've been gobbling them down. <laughs> Walling asks, wait, do the gummies stack? They do stack. They do. They stack they very They are 4D. Well. 4D. And the fourth D is delicious. <laughs> okay. Are yeah, they all finished in gummies? 10 micrometers? I would assume so. Okay, now this is going to look cool. Ready? Ooh. <laughs> Looks scary. That's cool. I like it. Dance party. It's, it's, yeah. Okay. So in the meantime, oh, also I want maybe I should make some more of these blocks. That's like a trap. It'll trap. I'm not gonna make the puzzle yet because I don't. I don't want to think about it. But Richard will. But 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 Richard will think about it for us. Okay. On hmm. start. Here we go. How is it? Which one did you eat? I ate a purple one. Uh huh. I don't think there is good. purple. What? What color did you eat? What is this then? <laughs> I guess it's like brown or orange. Oh, it's really hard to tell. I gotta say, that's my least favorite one. Mm. You shouldn't eat Game Boys. You can flip those <laughs> for money. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. Okay. Also, I'm going to code. Code. What's what? How do you do? How how do you adverb code? How do you adverb code? I don't know. Codely. Code out. Codely. Codely. Yes. I'm going to codely do this by turning on the walls, so I don't have to set it every time. Mm hmm. Okay. There. Programmatically. Co Wait. What did you say? Shane? Programmatically. I'm, oh. I'm pretty sure it's codely. I'm pretty sure it's totally. <laughs> okay, now we did this. Richard, are we ready to do physics? Um, yeah, okay. okay. So I think the way we're going to do this is when the block hits the wall, all right? Yeah. We're going to set it to be a stuck block. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to change its kind. So when we change the gravity, we're going to change all the kind to be like falling block. Yeah. Then when it hits the wall, it's going to be stuck block. Yeah. And then when one of the blocks overlaps with stuck blocks, it's we right. align it to the tile and it gets stuck. Ah. Uh ah. -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. I can do that. Ready. Okay. So just based on that, that's all the direction we need. Mm -hmm. So update gravity. What are we going to do? We're going to here change all the kinds of let's new kind stuck block and then before we update gravity on it let's change its kind change its kind this is way easier than what i thought we were gonna do richard this is great <laughs> yeah i'm hoping it'll work we'll see oh, uh-huh <laughs> okay so sign set kind to movable block um i'm gonna ignore this right now not play is a real thing projectile okay and then on kind of on kind of what on kind of movable block hits a wall we're gonna change um, it i think hmm. i think what we want to do is an overlaps actually mm. no maybe we should do a wall no mm. i think overlaps is gonna be easier overlaps okay yeah this one will it overlap ever yeah, so what you want to do is you want to make it so that they go through walls. Oh, okay. Right, okay. So, like, what I'm imagining is you have your tile, right? And this one is turned into a stuck block. 
Mm-hmm. Then we align it to the grid. And the, we make them so they still go through tiles, but when they hit that stuck block, then they can go back over and do it. Mm. Otherwise, we're going to have to like, store it in the, in the tile map, I guess. Oh, okay. Sure, sure, sure. That, okay. I'm just going to trust. I'm going to trust. Okay. So I'm going to change the stuck block. And before we do this, when we create the map, let's change sorry, them Sorry, all. sorry. Not tile overlap, sprite overlap. But what about the initial hitting? Oh, oh, so, oh, you're doing the initial hitting. Sorry, I'm just being confusing then. Then, yeah, you should do it like you said. You should just do it on hits wall. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, so yeah. of kind hits wall at location. We're going to set it. See, Richard, you got to be responsible with the trust. I was going to blindly follow you into the confusing code. <laughs> We're going to change it to stuck block and then... I'm going to ignore it. Wait, but if it goes through walls, then it won't do this. Oh. Right? If we set goes through walls. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That is true. So then let's do the other way, actually. Sorry, Richard. Okay. Overlaps this one. And then also we have another kind of wall. We have hmm, hmm, this one. Because the other ones are covering it, right? Movable blocks. Right. Are you covering? No, you did the replace all tiles, right? Yeah. Okay. We'll do it this way. I thought. Yeah, it was... we're gonna have to copy and paste four times. I thought it was it's just making right. it look pretty. Oh, maybe I should have copied it afterwards. I just gotta do that. Okay. 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 Get rid of this. Let's make them all go through walls. Hmm. So is a setup level, setup level, and then let's make everybody go through walls. Yeah. Goes through walls. Should I do it all at the end? Maybe I'll do it all at the end. You could do it in an uncreated event. Ooh. Yeah, we never use that. Yeah, we never use that. I forgot it existed until like yesterday. Why'd you use it yesterday? Um, I did I use it yesterday. Oh. I don't remember. Why did I use it yesterday? Or something. Was it on stream? Making a, You're making yeah, we were enemies. making a Zelda game yesterday. Mm. What did you say, Shannon? You're making enemies. I don't know. Yeah. Frog bunnies. <laughs> What's happening in chat? I can't I can't multitask. Let's see. We're having a lot of conversations about planting Game Boys and getting five Game Boys back, which that's true, and I hope it is. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to go buy some potting soil. Um, you are? Yeah. Why? I've got when a bunch you... of Game Boys. When do you own plants? I have one plant that has miraculously survived despite me watering it roughly once a year. Mm. Um, is, it, is, it, is, it a, is it a, is it a water hating plant? Um, yeah. No, it's like a succulent. It's not like, okay. it's like a weird succulent, though. Mm. I, okay. Interesting. Okay. So we have all the, all the wall situations, and then now let's deal with the sprite situation. So, it's been a long time since Richard explained this to me. Okay. Just gonna so do the this. idea is, yeah. And then yeah. when that happens, you want to do the same thing. So maybe we should just make a function, which should just be called like stick block and takes in a a sprite so we don't have to copy and paste this all over the place. Okay. Stick block. Yeah. Me. Okay. And then it's just going to set the location to be the location. Yeah, so it's just going to, it's going to do what you're doing in the side of that overlaps event. It's going to do the same mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. Um, Okay, easy. Yeah, and then isn't it about the same amount of tile or blocks though? Yeah, but I think you should also replace the overlaps because we're also gonna have to do some other stuff in here. Really? Yep. Okay. So a stick block. And then who are we gonna do it? We're gonna do it on the moving one, and then we're also gonna change its kind. Yeah, so put the change kind inside of the stick block. Mmm. Stuck block. Okay. 
Oh, I and see. And the I other see. thing we want to do is we want to set the velocity to be zero. Mm -hmm. We're not currently doing. Oh yeah, let's get rid of all of this. Yeah. Man, I, for for the first time, I don't want to use a function. I don't know. I feel like what a waste. Cut corners equals a smaller piece of paper. Am I right? <laughs> okay, stick block. Now, can, now, 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 can I just run it? Oh, velocity, velocity. Think, yeah, you got to set the velocity to be zero, zero. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, because it's stuck. Going yeah. nowhere. Should I set the gravity to be nothing too? Like, yes. Probably. Yes. That that's that's forward thinking. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay, so acceleration to be nothing in in all the directions. Also, I realize I have to do like the confusing left right jumping thing when your when your gravity is changing. I'll deal with that later. Okay. Nobody's moving. Nobody's moving. <laughs> hmm. Why is that? Beats me. Okay, for everything of it's because I made them all stuck blocks at first or movable blocks at first. Should they all be stuck blocks? Yeah, they should all be stuck blocks to start. Sometimes sometimes you just walk through a bunch of glue. Yep. Uh -huh. My mother used to tell me that all the time. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Ah. Great. Nice. That ah! super well. <laughs> it works. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Some things are collapsing on each other. Yes. Some things are collapsing, but. Everything collapsed. Yeah. Also, I forgot our, our players should be eight by eight. <laughs> I'm gonna fix the character. Is this is this is this collapsement supposed to be happening? No, but okay. it's okay. Maybe we just roll with it. <laughs> Maybe what? Oh, okay. I'm gonna try to make the same character but with less pixels. Hmm. Just to be clear, this character is you, right? I thought maybe if I was wearing a hat, it wouldn't be me, you know? I was like, I can't make another game about me. You're just too good at, at drawing yourself. I'm just like, thing. you know, if I don't have an idea, may as well, may as well just, may as well just. <laughs> hmm. May as well just draw Vivian. Yeah. I feel like it's it's a pretty, it's it's a normal instinct. I'm, I'm amazed that your guys' go-to isn't yourself. Here, it's not me. Oh, no, my, my go-to is drawing Vivian. I thought that that. <laughs> That's where you were going with that. Oh. Hmm. This was hard. Okay. It's not me anymore. It's 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 a it's a vampire because of blue eyes. Yep. The three things you look for when you have a vampire. One, aversion to garlic. Two, pointy teeth. Three, blue eyes. These blue eyes are piercing. They're terrifying. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Oh, maybe it's because it's falling too fast and then snapping to the location below. Yeah, that's probably what's happening. Mm -hmm. So how do right. we... Hmm. Should I not make them fall so fast? Maybe gravity should be smaller? Will that help? We can do it that way, but it probably won't fix it 100% of the time. Mm -hmm. So maybe instead we should just figure out if we are on the same tile as another one, and if we are, then we... Go back one tile. Yeah, store a list of all the tiles we've been. I'm still going to decrease gravity a little bit because I feel like it'd be cool if you could like hop around a little bit while things are while things are falling. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Won't the overlaps then lead to like jittering or like a chain reaction? Mm -hmm. Like you hop back one, but there's already a tile there. Mm -hmm. So that one's so go back one. Yeah. Maybe I'll cap yeah. their speed. Maybe I'll do a game update and they can't move faster. And then we'll like super bump down the uh, FBS, make lots of sprites. They are jelly and jelly moves slowly, historically. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm? What? I don't Jelly know. Moose? Oh. Except for that time there was the Great Molasses Flood. Shannon, Hassan, did I miss something? <laughs> I'm confused. Uh, you missed it. I missed it. Okay. Well, so you're slowing down. You're slowing down the jelly, right? Yeah. Which is okay. because jelly moves slow. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Wait, did you guys eat more of the jellies? No. Here, let me try a different flavor now. Do you guys, Do you have a recommendation? Mm, the green is pretty interesting. I don't typically like apple flavors, but um, but you know, at, at least it's making a statement. <laughs> Hassan, have you tried any of yours? I have not. I wanted to, I guess, save the jelly until we actually mm. taste the Legos. <laughs> Hassan, you won't want your hands to be all, all like slippery while you're doing your Legos, you know? I hope that the, the jelly isn't like slippery. It no, is. Yeah. They're, they're like covered in like oil, I think, to keep oh. them from sticking together. Uh, also, I think it's been very hot. I don't know. I feel like mine melted a little bit, maybe. Shannon, how <laughs> hot is it at your place? Here's a good one. I don't know, it's warm. <laughs> mm -hmm. it's supposed to get up to like 100 in some parts of Washington this weekend. 100? Okay. Is it our part? I don't think so. We're only 90s. Yeah, we're only getting to like the mid 90s, which is already oh, way too much for Seattle. Mid so you're from Colorado. <laughs> yeah, I know. I didn't enjoy that. Colorado's not hot. It's is not it? hot? No, it, no, it can get like, it's, it's easily in the 90s in the summertime. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it's weird. It's technically like, uh, Seattle is technically quite humid, uh, but the dew point is very low, so there's actually not a lot of water in the air. That's why you don't actually feel sticky, uh, versus if you go to, like, say, the East Coast, New York and Boston. Similar levels of humidity, but the dew points tend to be higher, so you know, it's not more water. Um, but yeah, so, like, Seattle feels like a dry heat, kind of like Colorado. But, like, it's, it was always, like, 20 degrees cooler in Seattle. It's, like, 70 or 60. Cool. Well, I'm jealous because I'm from Virginia, which is just like the swampiest state next to, like, I guess all the other states that are on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. I think I think I'm losing jellies, but anytime I'm watching the jellies, they don't seem to be disappearing. You're you're losing jellies for sure. Oh, I saw one get lost. Okay, okay. Do, do we have a solution for for losing? Um. Yeah. So I think what we need to do is we need to we need to bump them out. Because I think that's the only way we're going to to get this to work. Mm. So mm -hmm. okay, right, right, right. So we'll have an update and we'll like store their like last tile. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Okay, so we'll have our on game update. Should it be like a? It'll be a constant one. We spare no expense for the updates here. Okay, yeah. so let's see if the current location is not equal to the last location. Hmm. Last location, last location. Uh, I'll figure it out while I, when I have to write it. Um, let's see, what what kind of mm, data do we want? We have the sprite. Hey, why do you, you don't have to change it. You can just constantly set it, right? Oh, mm -hmm. last location X. And then we'll do a four of all the movable stuff. <laughs> movable blocks. Okay. We'll do this one and then we'll get the X. Do you think we'll ever get to the point where we don't have to talk about the code again? I feel like once I started doing, doing this stuff, you know, we had to start talking about it. But I miss the days. When we could just, you know, float along. You, we can float along. You want to do that? Maybe, maybe I'm ready again, but I'm worried that we'll start floating. I'll be like, oh my gosh, where's my life protector? I can't float. Ah, you know? That is what happens. You just got to remember, you got to be on your back and you got to relax. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. You have to give, give way to it. Okay. I'm going to drink water. Shannon, um, um, how's it going? Hassan, how's it going? <laughs> uh, it is 
I was checking whether it's 68 in Seattle or 94 in Denver like that. So the, oh, the, the difference was even more than I thought. <laughs> when are you going? You're going back in August? Yes. Mm. Isn't that a bad time to be places where it's hot? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it, it, it's, it's more of um, that's like, you know, we're, we're I think we might end, we're gonna like end up being back in the office probably around September. So that's, it's just more of that. Mm -hmm. Because as soon as like September rolls around, then there's restrictions on working from home or at least that, that becomes like a formal conversation versus like pre-September, it's like, I can work from anywhere. So I just wanna take advantage of that before, uh, you know, that portion of uh, work from home uh, shutters closed. Not fully, but you know, a little more restrictions on it. Also, Den as far as time zone wise, Denver is great. It's only an hour ahead. Mm -hmm. I want to work in the office so I can have free AC. I don't want to spend <laughs> money on AC. <laughs> I feel you. Do I? That's the thing, though. I'm like, do I have a seat? Because, like, you know what I mean. Like, uh, you should. You know, <laughs> were, was there, were, were there enough seats? You know what I mean? Well, Daryl's no. seat at least is up for grabs. That's Vivian's seat now. It, oh. goes, it, it goes in order of, actually, it might be Joey's. It goes in order of higher. No, Joey, Joey really has a seat, so. Yeah, Joey had a seat. Yeah, so Vivian was here before me, so that's mm -hmm. her seat. Is that how it works? <laughs> I mean, what other system would you... I'm just, I'm just saying it's, oh, okay. It's like this is an don't. informal system. I thought this was like the official system. And I'm like, I don't, I feel like no. <laughs> typically it's alphabetical, which means I'm last. The first or last thing. Hmm. Okay. Sorry. I got confused. What am I doing? Okay. If there is a block here, then we're going to set us to the last position. Okay. Sorry. I, I'm not confused anymore. Continue. Shit. I forgot to store the. I forgot to store the Y. Did I forget to store the Y? You just need an X. What? Isn't the X more important? Mm, maybe in your typical downward gravity world, Richard. But in this 360 world, everybody's important. Yeah, oh, I you're got always it. telling me about how I'm stuck in my typical gravity world. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, otherwise we're going to get the data from the stuff. Oh, okay, chat. We need we need suggestions for what Richard should do when we're all gone. Not because it's we're true. dead, but we're just going to be gone. Yeah, everyone's abandoning me next week. So Joey should be here. Yeah, well, you know, maybe, maybe Joey has gone? other priorities than us. What's yeah, it's not. <laughs> Wait, but is anybody else going to drive? Richard, you might be the only one. No, yeah, I'll, I'll be driving every day, I think. So I hope you like looking at our Zelda game because we're going to be working on that for a while. Joey's not jo here next week. Cool. Well, it might just be me doing a stream. <laughs> yeah, okay. I I'm g I'm going to need to see some suggestions flowing in and chat for Richard. What, what, you know, not, not even just like coding things, but, you know, things to talk to himself about. It gets lonely. This is still collapsing on itself. No, I'm sure I'll be there as well. Nice. Okay, Hassan. What uh, what's happening? Are you, is everyone just not taking vacation at the same time, or? Yeah. Uh, Abhijit, Vivian, me, and then apparently also Joey. I so... didn't know about Joey. Oh wait, no, I knew about Joey. I didn't realize Joey was gonna be gone the whole time. Oh, well, that's true. Uh, well. All right. Well, I think we're out of time oh, for yeah, today. We're... Okay. Well, you know what? It looks cool, and isn't that half that's the battle? Cool. Anyway, my name is Vivian. I hope you learn things about Shelly. humidity. My name is Vivian. <laughs> I'm at Literville on the Midfield Forums. I am Hassan at Hassan on the Midfield Forums. Um, I'm Richard. You also learned a lot about our favorite Pokemon at Richard on the Midfield Forums. I'm Shannon at Shaka on the Midfield Forums. And thanks everybody for joining the stream. We'll see you guys tomorrow for. Not a special stream, it's just Thursday. Bye.